In this video, we will look at the top 5 graphic cards for Ryzen 950 950X available on the market. We made this list based on our own opinion, research, and customer reviews. We've considered their quality, features, and values when narrowing down the best choices possible. These GPUs are listed in no particular order, so number 1 is not the best, and 5 is not the worst. Watch the entire video and pick one carefully. To get more information on any of these products, check out the links in the description box below for more information. Starting our list with NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3090. The RTX 3090 is NVIDIA's top performing graphics card. Built to easily handle 4K gaming and designed to be a solid option for workstations, the RTX 3090 effectively replaces the line of Titan GPUs. It's powerful, it's large, and it uses a whole lot of power, especially when overclocked. The 3090 comes with an impressive 24GB of GDDR6X memory, which is faster than GDDR6, but demands more power. Its stream processor's count is just as impressive though, numbering almost 10,500 CUDA cores. These specs alone make this GPU a great choice for a workstation for 3D modelers. However, NVIDIA advertises the fact that the 3090 can also handle 8K gaming, though not many games can reach 60 FPS, especially on ultra-high settings. But this aspect isn't as important just yet because there are barely any monitors capable of running at 8K. Until we get more options in that department, we get to enjoy stable 4K gaming. The RTX 3090, together with the rest of the 3000 series, benefits from improved ray tracing and super sampling technology when compared to its predecessors from the 2000 series, thus delivering higher quality graphics than ever before. Furthermore, NVIDIA introduced the RTX IOA technology, which can greatly boost the frame rates and performance because it allows data to travel from the SSD straight to the GPU and therefore reducing input latency. While the specs and software improvements are mesmerizing, for most gamers and PC users, the RTX 3090 is a bit overkill, especially when considering the price. In addition, the GPU requires 350 watts of power on its own when under heavy loads, so you would need to invest in a powerful PSU to avoid computer crashes and other problems. With that being said, if the, the RTX 3090 is within the budget, it makes a good combo with the Ryzen 950 950X, making your system future-proof for the next few years. Next we have AMD Radeon RX 6900 XT graphics. AMD came up with a behemoth of its own in an attempt to rival NVIDIA's RTX 3090, and that's the RX 6900 XT. This GPU is designed as a high-end product for enthusiasts looking for the best specs. While the 6900 XT certainly looks impressive, it doesn't seem that much above the 6800 XT. It has the same clock speeds, memory, and cache. The difference lies in the higher stream processor count and higher compute units count. For the average gamer, that might not be enough to justify paying a higher price, but for those looking to squeeze every bit of juice out of a new GPU, it may suffice. The RX 6900 XT relies on the RDNA 2 architecture that allows the card to perform more efficiently. Its per watt performance is much higher than what we see in the previous generation of AMD GPUs. In addition, the many software improvements, such as smart access memory and Radeon Boost, together with the massive 128 MB cache, compensates for the 6916 GB of GDDR6 memory, which is slower than the 24 GB of GDDR6X memory the RTX 3090 has. It remains to be seen whether the RX 6900 XT can outperform the RTX 3090, but considering its price was announced to be $500 lower, it may still be a great option, even if it fails to take the crown. What we do know so far is that this GPU will effortlessly handle 4K resolutions, and when paired with a powerful CPU like the Ryzen 95950X it becomes a great workstation candidate. At number 3 it's NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080. The Ryzen 95950X is a powerful CPU, and it deserves an equal GPU. NVIDIA's flagship, the RTX 3080, may be one of the best choices to go with this processor. Its performance isn't that far off from the 3090, with memory being an exception, and it's certainly more affordable. After all, the 3080 delivers more than the 2080 Ti did and costs less. That alone should give you a rough idea about this GPU's performance and popularity. 
The RTX 3080 is capable of 4K gaming as well, thanks to the high number of CUDA cores, high clock speeds, and fast GDDR6X memory, which is a step up from the GDDR6 memory. Furthermore, it requires less power than the RTX 3090, so finding the right PSU according to your budget is going to be a much easier mission. While these impressive technical specs come in an affordable package, the RTX 3080 also benefits from the same software improvements we see with the RTX 3090, including RTX Iowa. The architecture of this GPU combined with a next-gen CPU like the Ryzen 9 5950X guarantees a future-proof PC build that can handle 4K resolutions as well as heavy rendering workloads. At number 4 it's AMD Radeon RX 6800 XT graphics. With the announcement of AMD's new RX 6000 series comes a rival for NVIDIA's RTX 3080, the RX 6800 XT. With a high boost clock frequency reaching a maximum of 2250 MHz, this 16GB beast is designed to be an affordable solution for 4K gaming systems. However, despite the higher boost clock and memory, AMD chose to go with the slower and less power-hungry GDDR6 instead of GDDR6X like NVIDIA did. But this isn't a major drawback, because the RX 6800 XT comes with an impressive 128 MB cache to compensate. Furthermore, AMD slightly undercuts NVIDIA's competing RTX 3080 by a marginal sum, as is tradition. But that doesn't mean it comes with fewer features. In fact, AMD finally introduces their own ray tracing support, as well as smart access memory, to improve the quality of the graphics and to reduce loading times. The 6000 series seems to be on par with the RTX 3000 series, but there aren't enough benchmarks and real-world comparisons to come up with a definitive conclusion. Furthermore, AMD added another exciting feature, namely Radiant Boost, which intelligently improves in-game performance by automatically downselling the render resolution during camera movement and then upscaling it back when the player is motionless. In other words, we should see a significant difference in frame rates when turning this feature on, but it's likely going to depend on each game. With that being said, with the RX 6800 XT AMD is back in the race. If you're into 4K gaming and if you want to take advantage of AMD's hardware optimizations, the next-gen 6800 XT is ideal when paired with the Ryzen 9 5950X. At number 5 it's NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3070. The RTX 3070 is the budget-friendly next-gen GPU from NVIDIA, which is intended to replace the RTX 2080 Ti at a modest price. This aspect alone makes it popular among 1080p and 1440p gamers. However, the 3070 is capable of running games at 4K resolutions, though some of them may not reach 60fps at ultra-high settings, and it also comes with PCI Express 4.0 support. So even though it's not as powerful as the 3080, it still beats its predecessor, the RTX 2070, and is future-proof due to all the next-gen features it comes with. Speaking of features, NVIDIA provided the 3070 with the same software features as the bigger and more expensive GPUs in the series. It comes with improved ray tracing, super sampling, RTX IO, as well as features that are useful outside of gaming, like NVIDIA Broadcast. All in all, the RTX 3070 is one of the best choices for gamers who don't care much about 4K setups and who just want to have a reliable computer for the next several years. And with that we come to the end of our review. No matter what your tastes, I'm pretty sure you'll find something here that works well for you, and I'm confident you'll enjoy it. Until next time, have fun!